How are we doing over there? We're doing great. Gonna keep moving? Yeah. Let's do it. Can we uh? Bridge nav. Can we move to a, a, a less flat? Two zero meters. Not three really. Zero. No. No, we're kind of limited in the direction we can go. Oh. So we're moving towards a less flat area. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's that's all right. I mean, Adam, we could, um, once we go down slope, we could kind of follow this contour back a little bit if... I think let's get off of the feature. Right, If right. it looks that way and then, yeah, come... I mean, yeah, one I of the was just hoping we for any slope previously on, yeah. I'm not 100% sure what the backside of this is going to look like, if it's just mm -hmm. going to be slightly tilted, sedimented C4 or raw right. exposure. yeah. Yeah, that's fair. It's definitely not as steep as uh, the other side. Pablo, are you guys at a good, uh, or Kevin, are you guys at a good altitude for lasering? Could you repeat that? Are you at a okay altitude for lasering? Uh, it's a little low. But uh, right now, there's not really anything interesting to shoot at. So we're, I'm just kind of uh, every once in a while taking a sample just to do health checks. OK. Um, but when we get into more uh, rocky areas, okay. if we do, uh, then that will be the very interesting okay. spots for us. What's the most interesting um, thing you guys have found? Uh, I think uh, one of the previous, the very first uh, watch uh, around midnight, there was a crab eating a dead fish. Not a bad fish. And uh, it was really cool. And so we actually got samples of that. So we could we got the the Desperate. well, <laughs> once live live living tissue of the fish. Uh, and, you could, and we also uh, got some data on a purple urchin. Ooh, oh, nice. Ooh. neat. What was the urchin made out of? Urchin material. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad. Confirmed urchin, not one of those urchin <laughs> spies. I am uh, a eight meter delta, uh, but getting pulled behind. Roger, coming back. I like that view though. Oh yeah, looks like we're on another planet. Yeah. That's cool. What light is that? That's the uh, starboard bio box camera. Right, which light? It's just which up on the rail? No, that's which me. Light? That's, that's Atalanta. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's Atalanta. That's me. Duh. Oh, that's, you're very close. <laughs> that's where the 8 meter delta comes in. That's, uh, yep. Whoa. Well, we're stretched out, so cool. it's okay. Yep. You can fly low when we're stretched out. Is it cucumber? Oh, Coming what? back. <laughs> oh, fish? Oh, might be another oh, house. Is it, or is it? Now it's kind of like when you're driving and someone's tailgating you at night. They <laughs> <laughs> got their highs on. Uh, <laughs> it's always a ram the truck. Just with the auto adjust. Can we zoom in on that, Dave? I don't have, I don't have any more. Bingo. Beach. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. Halosaur. Jelly. Oh, another cone jelly coming in. Oh, that looks like a pteropod, actually. Oh, no, it's a cucumber. What? Oh. <laughs> just, just pick one. <laughs> three different phyla. All right, got it. Life. <laughs> Life. Yeah, that's one of those cucumbers we've been seeing. Oh, yeah. Sea pig. It's kind of dinky. <laughs> There it goes. Oh, what's there? Is it? It looks kind of like one of those, um, what is it? Yeah. Oh, look at it oh, swim. I guess it is. That is hard to focus on. <laughs> Way off in the distance.
Move. 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 Bridge nav. Let's do three zero meters through three zero. Let's get. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Why don't we do uh, coming. the next one? We could do thirty three meters at three three three. How much time do we have left on the bottom? Oh, hour and a half maybe. Uh, or yeah. hour, no, maybe an hour. Okay. Actually, yeah, what depth are we at? We're at 1,400. Oh, um, yeah, so. yeah, a little over an hour on the bottom, I think. Depends on how far we go down this ridge. Null. Bump, knob. Lump. <laughs> Protuberance. Whoa. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, our What's word, the word of the day? day? <laughs> What's our word of the day? Oh. Well, word of the day was uh, shoot. Enthralled? Enthralled. Enthralled, yeah. Enthralled. Oh, right. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not enthralled. <laughs> not enthralled. <laughs> but what if you take off the E-N? What's a thrall? To be, can you be? Thralled. Thralled? There's another cucumber. Thralled. Thrall y'all. <laughs> oh gosh. Well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. We don't need to. <laughs> yeah. What? Is thrall not good? It's not great. Oh. It's not great either. Yeah. Thralled. Fish. According to our friend Miriam Webster. <laughs> oh. Okay. How do you check the weather in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? Asking for a friend. Windy. Thanks. Oh, our different weather? Um, we actually, yeah, we use windy. We use, uh, we use the uh, Pacific Islands Ocean Observing System, mm -hmm. PAC IOS. Um, and we also, uh, Go we outside. Use, we also we definitely go outside, <laughs> um, and there are some NOAA weather oh, service wow. forecasts that we use as well. So um, wow. constantly, yeah, checking in on a few. This is amazing. And it's then great. we also have um, some weather monitoring qu equipment on board, um, and an anemometer for wind it speed. Work very good. Doesn't yeah, it's not necessarily incredibly accurate, the, but I think the good one was filled with water. So we're technical difficulties with that one. Um, yeah. But yeah, the forecast can only do so much when we're out this far from yeah. any weather stations or buoys. Oftentimes buoys. you get a weather report from yourself. <laughs> Correct, <laughs> from <laughs> eyes. <laughs> well, we report weather <laughs> and then you just get it right back it's just the weather cute. <laughs> Correct. Uh, you want to get going? Uh, what? You want to get going? <laughs> oh, I see some uh, <laughs> relief in our future. This is the ship. Some excitement coming up. Oh. Are you claiming that I'm holding you back? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> How could not, that be? Not creating problems here, but... Oh, well, the ship has bypassed us, so... <laughs> is it taking off? Uh, yeah, we had a move. I mean, oh rate? nope! <laughs> Hold on, that was not my, that was not my move. We are taking off. Yes, that looks okay. uh, uh, it looks, looks fast. a little fast. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that looks fairly like fast. We're gonna get yanked. In a so I would uh, say, big time here. yeah, but we're going over this ledge. 
Hopefully there's no walls ahead. Should not be. There does, no, we're going down slope. If they're all, will all be dead. Yeah, it's taken off in yeah. a big way. Is he doing something up there? Uh, trying to get back to holding position. Ooh. I guess I will just drag you along. <laughs> I think we're going for a little ride <laughs> until they can get position again. You can just let let the auto head go. Just let it go. Um, Turn it off, or uh, we have a bit of a wrap. Okay. okay, I think they got. They got a hold of it. They got a hold of it, and we'll just need a couple minutes to settle out. Yeah, you can still let it go. Okay, turn it off. Auto heading. That's interesting, though, because we were not spiking on wind. Yeah, we're gonna. I guess I need I need to get around. So we're gonna go for a ride here. Can you center me up on the? Yeah. View? I'm gonna zoom out here. Okay, I got blown off again. So you're watching along at home where uh, ship's lost its position a little bit, so we're kind of going to try and regain control before we get back to the C4. Stopped again. All right, well, let me go ahead and put auto heading back on. Yeah, why don't you uh, try and take you that six eight wrap out? And blown off again. Roger. For everyone who's just tuning in, we have a little over an hour left. Um, we are at 1390 meters. Our team also uploaded highlights on nautiluslive.org. So check it out. We will be posting more highlights from our dives in the days and the week to come. So stay tuned. <laughs> You want me to keep going completely going. around? So, yeah, we... Oh, right. you're not talking to me. I'm going to come up and get in standard tow mode here. Yeah, I think we better. We just lost. We got blown off again. Okay, we're changing heading. By the time we get back under control and get back to the C4, it'll be time to recover anyway, yeah. so we might as well just come up. Yeah, let's, um, once the ship gets stable again, I'll make okay. that call to the bridge. I'll also cut onto the lounge to let Dwight know. I think you're all, I think you're all right. Uh, we'll need to... <coughs> Rearrange the whole scheme. Oh. There's a little pink one there on the left, too. Oh! That, that might be an anemone. How is there 
anything up here. <laughs> I, it's not a bad How spot, right? How did you get right? here? I don't know. Is that it's a bamboo? It's not the most popular spot. No, it definitely isn't. It's not. hard to tell from here. I'm not so sure it's a bamboo, though. Oh, my. I think that could be a primnoid. Mm. Sorry, I can't get... Yeah, this is good. This is sure. good, then. Thank you. Let's follow these boulders to their source. But I've, I've kind of turned around here. So yeah, no worries. You want to continue in the northwesterly direction, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna put in another stop three three zero. Bridge nav. Two zero meter is three three zero. Three three zero. interesting texture. <laughs> yeah. That might be like indurated mud that got a little bit uplifted, so it's kind of fallen apart over time. Indurated? Indurated, uh, geologically hardened hmm. or, set or cemented. Two words of the day. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the real word of the day is. Yeah, none of these science words. <laughs> Enough of that. It wasn't a very hard one. I don't remember what it was. It was an easy one. Not memorable, though, clearly. The word of the day is enthrall. Oh. Enthrall. Enthrall. Cool. Adam is enthralled with all of these formations. With dirt clods. With dirt clods. Uh, it's not the term. <laughs> Look at you over there clicking buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to do my job. Or at least look like it by clicking yeah. buttons. <laughs> Just fake it till you make it. Uh, you know, common saying. Try to look good on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> buttons are actually uh, clicking anything. <laughs> have big shoes to fill. Yeah. I've been self-conscious about all my clicking back here. <laughs> I heard the other navigators were working autonomously and just putting in moves on their own. Well, consultation or depends on, <laughs> <laughs> depends on how ornery their <laughs> RV pilots are. <laughs> huh. ah. I'm happy to do that without talking to you. No, no. <laughs> I was saying how much I enjoy any input into okay. the nav decisions. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, so that was a compliment, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Wasn't prepared. <laughs> yeah, we've definitely been gusting pretty high on the wind and the currents picked up. So I'm keeping an eye on it, but it's definitely not as favorable as it was when we started. We're just 
poking along here, struggling. We're poking along. We're about to finish this move, so I'm going to put in another it step. Doesn't look like we. I know. We just kind of spun in. Bridge now. The vortex there. Hmm. Hey Dave. Just to let you know. Two zero meters, three nine. three zeros. Stuck in okay. the mud Redhead, cloud uh, vortex. Okay. to to notify you guys when it got to thirteen. So. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> Adam, what was the term for uh, dirt clod? I think it was weird mud. Indurated <laughs> sediment. Indurated sediment. I N. We might need some of these drawn out to add to the gallery, you know? Hmm. Okay. I don't think we have any more um, sticky notes. Oh, why didn't you say anything? <laughs> <laughs> we were afraid. Asking you shall receive. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> Perspective is off. <laughs> uh, what was the other word we learned this morning? Indurated and... Grobbin. Gro Cemented. Yes, Paula. A what? That wasn't a question. Oh. <laughs> you were just saying the word? <laughs> the word, yeah. Oh, oh, Samantha? That's not a word we learned today. We've known that one. Yeah, cemented mud. Cemented. Oh, I cemented. You I thought you said Samantha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> my coffee's still kicking in. <laughs> I'm just laughing words. Uh, how do you Oops. spell graben? G-R-A-B-E-N. No, I'm just graben. From the German, graben. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cemented. No, cemented was my clods. Indurated. Indurated. Grabbin was the troughs. Yes. Zoom in on this. What is this? <laughs> Another rock pen? Another peduncle sitting on the surface. Do you think that's the whole pedunk, or is that half of a duncle? I don't know how it would be staying in place if it was the whole thing. There, yeah. I, I think that's it. I don't think they really. I mean, there are um, sea pens that that vary, but I think the rock pens, their peduncles, always on the. How is it wrist. anchored there? Yeah, this is sheer brute will. <laughs> this is up on the top. I just of wanted the, to. The, the hill here too. Looks yeah. like it's got some Great. little anemones on it. Yeah, it does. The deep sea runs on Dunkel. I, I just verified my initial thought, which was that they are, um, they work kind of like a plunger. Apparently, they have a modified peduncle that's kind of oh, disc shaped. Oh, like they actually the kind just of kind thing of you onto the rock. put on a mirror. Yeah, exactly. Or a window or something. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, because sea bends can bury themselves in the sand, but rock bends are always on top of the rock, whatever that word is that we still haven't. Surficial? Surficial, we could call that. All right. I'm satisfied here. Conformal with, this, with the seabed? <laughs> I'm gonna put in another move here. Bridge nav. Looks like there's another one behind it. Yep. Two zero meters, another. three three zero. Ooh. More wedge. Coming up against a whoa. <laughs> This is quite Damn. steep. Maybe we don't want to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge now. I'm sure it's only like, That's it's only a couple meters. Just oh yeah, actually it's already dropped off. Dis disregard bridge. Looks like that was <laughs> cut with a laser. <laughs> yeah. Disregard bridge. Yeah, it's not something you want to look up and see usually, but we can already see over the top of it on the sonar. Ooh. Ooh. What's, what's the term for that I, uh, gouge? A vug? 
What? Vug? You're no. just making this up. <laughs> no, no, no. What's a Vug? Can you zoom in on the Vug? <laughs> Are you for real? Oh. V-U-G? V-U-H-G? V no, V-U-G. Although it kind of looks like... It's protruding. It kind of looks oh, like... There's something in it. Preserve bioturbation, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh, like a limpet or something? Had, or a urchin? Something could have carved it out? Is that what you're thinking? Uh, yeah, maybe. Is that a hole or is it a... <laughs> That could be anthemastis. Oh, oh yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think it is a little yeah. anthemastis. Aw. It is a bit of a optical illusion. What? It's a hole, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is a shadow. Is that what a vug is? A vug is a hole, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why didn't you just say hole? Uh, I don't know. So is that from a... Uh, different kind of rock that got embedded in oh, the there's another stuff? Uh, that is a great guess yeah that there was something else in there and it kind of fell out once this uh, got uplifted yeah it looks like there was like a just a rock rock yeah I know I guess I'm also seeing this uh, yeah corn cob pipe structure oh. I was thinking it and like what's <laughs> what are all these like scratches scratches yeah, doesn't it look like... Oh, I don't think they're scratches. Well, not, you know... It might make a nice kitchen countertop. It's just an interesting <laughs> texture. <laughs> no? Your mic's going on a walk. Microphone, I guess. I should, hmm? Not you. Microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> this is a... Well... It's better than when we had Joey headset up here. <laughs> Joey headset. Joey. Joey. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking of other things we say. <laughs> Mike is confusing, but if someone Joey. was named headset, <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, it's bad enough when we have Mike. two we are mics on board. Forty minutes into our watch. <laughs> yeah, Larry Zoom had a lot of trouble in the van. Uh, Atalanta shot is great, by the way. The, oh yeah, uh, look at that. You get the yeah. full scope of the, the ledge. There's more ahead. Oh yeah, it's a little stepped, stepped terrace here. Cool. Is it crenellated at the top? What? Hoodoos. Yeah. Look at that crack, castle That's wall. Cool. Yeah. Nope. This is some of the best rock we've seen. This is really cool. Yeah. And not not much uh, iron manganese coating. Mm -mm. No. If any. What kind of rock is this? Um, I'm almost positive it's sedimentary rock. So when this was an atoll, uh, you know, the there was a basically a lagoon in the middle, probably, and mm -hmm. so they probably collected sediment from dead corals and other things, and uh, somehow after this seamount formed, the center bowed up and exposed all this stuff. Any day, any speck, woo. Wow, this is an interesting feature. It's very impressive. Are those more sponges right there? Yep. Seems so. Anemone in the overhang. Yeah. Ooh. This is a very odd texture, isn't it? And more of the Palaenopsis side. <laughs> I was just trying to remember how to say. The uh, zoom in, Dave. Uh, Polly, the sea wigs. <laughs> sea <Yeah>. wigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sea wig. I am back. Chat. Hello, Annie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Annie. What the heck? This like uncontrolled, uh, little wispy leg growth. What do you call those things? The little attachment legs. Um. Uh. Strings. Strands. Definitely a term. TBD. 
It's so interesting. Threads. The Attachment name threads? is Polyopagon. Polyopagon. The sponge. Not a spicule. It's like a. It's like bissel threads for mussels. But what's the sponge version? It looks a lot like a geological thing called Pele's hair. Mm. Oh yes, right. When, when lava right stretches, and it can kind of make these fine strands called Pele's hair. Kind of a golden color like this. Uh, uh, just one sec. Okay, good. Yeah, Thank that's, you. so that's so true. I'm looking at it right now. It looks exactly very similar. I wouldn't mind grabbing a piece of this rock if we see something grabbable. I know it's a tough spot, but... Oh, there's another wig. Um, they are called basil tufts. Basil tufts? Tufts, ah. apparently. Okay, well, makes sense. That looks like what you mentioned, Jules, but without the sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. All tufted, no sponge. <laughs> <laughs> you think we could get a piece of the ledge, maybe? Like wedge Probably underneath hard. it? I don't know how hard it will be, actually. Hmm. Yeah, like wedge under something like that. Yeah. You're gonna have to drop a suction hose, though. <laughs> 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 Let's replace the <coughs> slurp end with a chisel. <laughs> yeah. That's cool in there. Wow, Golly, yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to miss so our lip yeah, was opportunity that a here? A decision made? Jump on it? Got a little bit more to the right. Do we try it? Do Let's we give dare? it a. Yeah, uh, we dare. <laughs> the, sh the ship is stopped, <laughs> obviously. Is there enough space for you to set down? Or are you going to go in? So, so I'm going to go in. Raj. Can I see what our sample situation looks like? Oh, plenty. Maybe we can take advantage of our porch Edge. and push it out. Eh, this is all right, I think. I don't know how stable it's going to be. Hose in the hand because it gets away. Is that the reason? We don't. Hose in the hand worth two in the, in the, in the, <laughs> the holder? Holder. <laughs> Pop right out of there. Isn't it?
Uh-oh. Discussion. We're going for the big one. Oh. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, oh look at oh. that. That's what? definitely oh, it. Easy. <laughs> huh. Huh. I didn't know. Hmm. Is that what you expected to see? <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, uh, you know what? Before you grab that, yeah. is it going to just fall apart? Do we want to put it in, uh, in that scoop uh i'd rather try and grab it i i have grip, grip force nine on it I oh i see okay okay see when robert shakes your hand you really <laughs> know it hey uh, adam uh we used the scoop earlier this morning oh uh, you did and we but to grab something similar to this so it's still chalky and talky i don't know how you want to describe it so i think they mean it may be okay to mix and match uh, if you're not worried about it, uh, if you want to reuse it, but uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, I don't want to reuse it. Okay. I think that would be then it's taken. Yeah. problematic. Okay. Oh. Great. So we got to go, we got to go around the side. Uh, okay. Ready for do sample? Need, do we need to rotate it? <coughs> uh, just please. Okay, I would say stop there. I don't want to <laughs> drop it. Don't no worry. <laughs> Got the pictures I need. Thank you. Hey, can we zoom in on the Argus view? Oh, you really get one shot at this or else it falls down the <laughs> cliff. It. Hmm. It's a tilt away. So, Pablo, this looks like what you sampled earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's same, same, same texture material. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was, it was, it was less uh, polished on the outside, uh, less flat, but uh, same, same flavor. Yeah. Mm. You ready for a drawer? Yeah. <coughs> Dang it. Okay. <coughs> Sample tray coming out. Hey. Kay. Where's this going? Uh, F. F. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sample tray going in. For everyone who's just tuning in, welcome. So this area has been nominated to become a National Marine Sanctuary. I believe the due date for the public comment, it's June 2nd. You're a little bit quiet. Now? What? <coughs> now? What? I can hear you okay. Yeah. Maybe my volume's low. Good? My volume was low. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. This will be sample 107. Okay, chat. Start over. Okay, so this area has been nominated, this region has been nominated to become a National Marine Sanctuary. The due date for the public comment, um, it's June 2nd. So do not forget to submit your questions and your comments. I do not believe there is an, a an age limit. There's not no age time. limit. There is no age limit, thank you. Okay. Anyone can give their input. Anyone at all? Okay, well, let's spend another hour up here tooling around. Yeah. Hey, can we get a zoom on that exposed section? <coughs> zoom in, Dave. Yeah. Um, you can find the link on the Nautilus Live okay. website, and you can also find it on the nominated sanctuaries page right. on the NOAA website.
So what are we looking at? Great question. Very I mean, chalky. It's very chalky, but so it could. I, I'm just not sure. I think it's chalky because it's fine sediment, right. not because it is wow. actual chalk, which is a you know kind of altered rock. Right. Yeah. This would be. What is chalk? Yeah. Sample one zero seven. What is chalk? Thank you. What's chalk, Adam? Uh, <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the sample chalk. end up? F. F. Thank you. Calcium carbonate. Right? Yeah. Oh. Chalk. Sedimentary carbonate rock. Hmm. Composed of mineral calcite. Yep. 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 Thanks, Annie. Oh. So I missed the conversation. What is? What are we looking at? We don't. We don't know. We don't know for Ooh, sure. I love it. Isn't calcium carbonate chalk? Yeah, that's what. Yeah. That's so interesting because it looks like on the surface, it looks like it's hard rock, but it really, it's not. So you guys think this entire plane? This cap, yeah. So what I was saying before was that, you know, when this was at sea level, right, there was a fringing reef uh -huh. and a, like a lagoon in mm -hmm. the middle where you could get uh, fine sediments deposited because Bridge, huh? the wave you know, waves and currents would be low, so you right. can get fine stuff deposited. And, it, you know, fills up as the reef grows. And then sometime after this seamount submerged, something is pushed up the middle. So we've got oh. this exposure of it. Right, right. So one thing that'd be cool is if you could drill down through this, you'd probably see the fine sediments that we just saw, plus some bands of coarse sediments from like big storms. Wow. And so people use that in other coastal environments to to look at like hurricanes through right. history and oh, stuff wow. like that. Okay. Is it too awesome. hard to get a core? Um, it's too hard to get one in the kind of way that we do by pushing yeah. something in, okay. but by, you know, drilling or something like that, you could. It's very interesting. Uh, are these considered grubbins? Are these striations? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what is that moving uh, thing? I don't think Can they're grubbins. Oh, just kidding. I think it's a shrimp. Just a shrimp. <laughs> just <laughs> just a shrimp. A shrimp. So you can see some ripples on the surface. I don't know if those are from current sediment or like preserved ripples. That'd be cool, huh? Fossil ripples. Ooh. Wow. Fossil ripples. That would be pretty neat. Well, now that we have Pablo here, um, can you elaborate on the spectrometer? 
Yeah, yeah, of course I can. Yeah, so uh, if you, I think uh, I don't know if if the window here, the, the screen where we're shooting, uh, seen from Atalanta. Uh, if you could see that from home, uh, if not, don't worry. Uh, but if you could see it, uh, there is a little bright spot directly under the vehicle. Uh, that's a laser. So uh, what the spectrometer is doing is is looking at that white spot that you see there with your eyes. Right. But it's looking at it with a different eyes, if you want, right? So what we have is a is a combination of lenses and and uh, optical um, uh, parts that are uh, bending that light are analyzing it uh, in a way that our camera can then count how many photos, uh, how bright uh, is that spot, how many photos are coming to us, at what color. And the color that we're reading is telling us uh, what this uh, sediment right now is made of. That's very high level explanation and very uh, simple, but, uh, but I think it really captures what it is. is uh, we are exciting uh, our target with the laser Right. And that laser will interact with molecules in that target, and that interaction, uh, we can see that. And that is the diagnostic, that is the fingerprint of, uh, of the chemistry of that uh, target, uh, that interaction of light and, and target. Thank you. I, I'm curious, how long did it take to just bring this technology together? So uh, it took us maybe from, from a napkin sketch at wow. a bar in a place that wow. I will not name, uh, to to today, it took about nine years. Uh, wow. And the challenge was to uh, figure out a way to uh, to uh, to shrink the size and the and the the weight of the equipment. Uh, if you think about it, uh, equivalent uh, machines that we have in the lab are about the size of uh, of the ROV Hercules, our car, as big as a car. And uh, of course, you know, we couldn't bring something like that uh, down to the deep sea. We have to shrink it by at least 90%, if no more. And that was the that was what took time: is to find the components, uh, engineer uh, the the elements uh, and everything around that, uh, so that we can preserve the scientific uh, performance of a lab instrument, but put it in a in a system that can survive the depths. So uh, those things take uh, yeah, anywhere from five to 10 years, depending how complex it is. So uh, that's why uh, technology development is such a slow and, and expensive uh, um, endeavor. It's not about the materials. We're not using anything fancy and exotic that you couldn't buy in the store, uh, a specialized store, I guess. But it's about the, the, you know, the team of about, I don't know, Kevin, 40 people maybe that have worked in this technology for over nine years wow. that make it uh, expensive and, and you know, a long project. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Nine years. Do you still have the napkin from the bar? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. That's awesome. As a matter of fact, I do. And, wow. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give a shout out to uh, Michael Eastman, uh, which is a, a photographer and artist uh, from St. Louis, uh, Missouri. Uh, and Michael collected all my napkin sketches and, and notebook sketches from, from back in the day wow. and made a unique piece for, for us, uh, capturing the journey from, uh, from that napkin to uh, computer models to early prototypes. Uh, and I think now we're going to have to talk to Michael again and update with pictures from this, uh, from this expedition. That's awesome. That's great when you can share the kind of full story of scientific achievements and not just right. the, the point when it hits the lab or hits the uh, the official research stage <laughs> yeah no i i agree and, and and for me for me it's about the people right you know that, yeah, that we that collected and joined and partnered with along this journey and uh which is you know now that i have uh, adam here as the lead scientist in this shift uh adam was uh one of the first uh, uh scientists in oceanography who believed in this uh, space technology, uh, and Adam was uh, our big champion to, to be here. So uh, in, in a way, we owe to Adam and his team at the OECI and OET to, uh, to, to be able to be here. So again, which is more about making the team as large as we, as we have been able to do it over the years is what's got us here. So that's, that's the journey, that's the story. So, right. Uh, wow, that is amazing. That's another and, so. and, Bob, tell him. and what Pablo 
Tell her. So, tell her. Dave. Your microphone is away from your mouth. Waters. Zoom in. Well, they were uh, talking. I didn't you know, we, yell at them. In, <laughs> in ocean science, there's a lot of development of technology for ocean science, but there's probably even more adoption of technologies right. from other domains to to help in ocean science and this is a you know good example of that this this was constructed really for operations in space in the future and uh, but is going to really help us yes yeah, so, so maybe I'll make a little digression on, on wh why somebody may be wondering uh, why why did you guys build this for space? What's going on in space? Are there right. oceans in space? And the answer is yes. Um, you know, so well, everybody has seen Mars, right? And how red, dry, and cold it looks. That's because it is the way uh, today. But uh, a few billion years ago, uh, there were lakes, there were seas, there were oceans, perhaps rivers on Mars uh, that covered pretty much all the surface. Uh, Mars was a blue planet, uh, much as we are today, uh, with an atmosphere. And perhaps life, we don't know yet, we're exploring that. But um, if you look a bit further away uh, from the sun, uh, you look into Jupiter and Saturn, these two uh, giants have moons that are essentially uh, icy balls that contain liquid oceans, uh, much like the one we have here today, salty and briny as it is. Uh, so those, those moons contain liquid oceans underneath a layer of ice. Um, so when we discovered that uh, maybe 15 years ago, we had the first evidence of an ocean under an icy uh, crust in a, in a moon of the solar system, NASA suddenly uh, realized that, oh wow, if you know these planets that are so far away, these moons so far away, uh, there has not been really any, uh, any contact uh, with Earth in the sense of there hasn't been any meteorites that we know of or any transfer of matter from Earth to the moons and moons to Earth. Uh, so they've been isolated, right? So now, if we have oceans on these moons, and if we think that the ocean is the origin of life in our planet, uh, then finding life in these oceans becomes the best way to guarantee that we could eventually witness uh, life 2.0, as we call it, right? It's a, different, it's a different genesis of life. Life emerged perhaps in these oceans independently of life on Earth. And that would be, of course, you know, transformational for, for you know, philosophical, religious, scientific reasons. But uh, that became a, a focus of, of NASA's in this decade and the decades to come, which is to develop technology to eventually uh, land on these moons, drill or melt through this icy crust, and deploy technologies like what you see in today, right now, uh, doing the same thing we're doing uh, in OET uh, with Hercules and Nautilus, doing that in the southern moons. So. The technology that, that we're talking about here, the laser uh, dive boat, it is uh, one of the most advanced uh, subsea or deep ocean NASA technologies that is uh, possibly flying on missions to these moons uh, in the future. So if you're a kid these days, you're listening, uh, you should be in school, eh? uh, but, <laughs> but if not, uh, uh, if you're already off semester, uh, uh, you're one of the perhaps scientists that will be able to operate these machines and these moons in, in the next few decades. So. Uh, so, you know, uh, to, to finish the story is that, you know, we find it shark. much cheaper Can we follow the shark and case? much uh, easier to practice uh, these missions in space in our own ocean uh, for two reasons. One, because it's right here, uh, and B, is because along the way of learning how technology evolves and how to make it better, we are also learning about our own ocean, which is critical right. for all life uh, in the planet, uh, yeah, as it. you all know it. So, uh, so that's the story in the connection of uh, of space with our own ocean in this expedition. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is this a cat shark? Fish? <laughs> yeah, definitely a shark. Fish shark. A little shark. Oh, that's funny. I thought there were like two of them because it went off screen and then turned around. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take much to pull you. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> God. It's like having my 
sister on the wall. <laughs> Mike, I told you. I told you, Mike, that jump all over you. Just <laughs> jump all over you. No seat is safe. <laughs> no one is safe here. From the roast. Could it be Somniosus pacificus? Or oh. Yeah, that actually looks like it, Paulo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pacificus. Uh-oh, uh -oh. where are you? Oh, oh, you don't don't follow the do shark. It. Don't go. Oh, no. Don't go. Oh, no. no. <laughs> wow, it's, it can fly. <laughs> All right. Here, give me a good pole. Yeah, yeah. Followed with camera. Okay. So what's our, uh, can you get a sense of our motion restriction here? Uh, that's a good question. I'm trying to get in touch with the bridge. Um, the wind has actually dropped, um, but I think we've been uh, working a little hard. So, so stand by on that one. Um, but we, we should be able to move about 20 degrees either way from our current heading, um, forward or the reciprocal reverse. That's a cool rock break off there. Bridge, Nav. Yeah. There we go. Uh, two zero meter is three three zero, please. And so chat wants to know, like, what were we expecting to see in this area? Did we think there was going to be life or what we're looking at right now? Honestly, we weren't expecting much at all. Oh, this okay, is pretty, okay. pretty much what we predicted. Right, right. I personally did not expect to see so many interesting rock formations, so that's been right. really cool. Especially um, the like compacted sediment. Yes. I'm interested to look in the, the chalky rock we just yeah sampled. me too. It seems to to get like softer as you go further in. Yeah, I think we've we've migrated beyond where stuff has been uplifted and now we're mm -hmm. it's just sedimented. Yeah. And okay. it might be the stuff that's uplifted gets kind of scoured clean mm. by currents. Right. Okay, so Adam, in answer to your question, um, moving, so our current heading is about 120. Um, so we're looking at kind of 100 to 140 or uh, 330 to 290 for moves, if you have access to the DP screen. Yeah, no, I see. Uh, oh, I'm looking at just, uh, yeah. Huh. Okay. And we've got another hour and 45 minutes on bottom. Oh, that's kind of a tough... Uh... Yeah, so we could go over this knoll if that's of interest. We could do some zigzags. Um, the zigzags would have to be very... Uh, Tight. Tight. So yeah. I think we ought to Probably continue at uh, whatever, 3.30. Okay. Just keep moving back. Yeah, obviously there's some logo room a little bit, but... And w but what are the... I want to make sure we don't get beyond 1,500. It doesn't look like we would, because we were in that little trough before, so... Yeah. We should be okay. Yeah, let me zoom out here. I don't think I could get some depths from um, Deb in the data lab if, but I think we're you're right. I don't within think those good. contours. Yeah, yeah. I don't so. think I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, all right, three. Do you want to explore this little knoll at all while we're up here? <laughs> There's no. not much to see. It looks like. No. <laughs> okay. Great. We'll continue on three three zero then. 
bridge, no? Oh, uh, we can add another two zero meters to three three zero. Halosaur? <laughs> no, I think it's a C pen. Oh, <laughs> wearing a halosaur costume. <laughs> nope. Oh. Come, Dolly. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh. Had me fooled. <laughs> Doesn't take much to. Oh, I was gonna that. say, hey, let's <laughs> let's spread this out evenly, or I'm gonna think I'm getting picked on. <laughs> Yeah, Chad is already tuning in. Quote unquote, doesn't take much to fool you, Queen <laughs> Samantha. Oh. <laughs> 2023 Queen Samantha. <laughs> what a bully. <laughs> uh, can I be the Hallowsword Queen? If, if Adam is the Urchin King? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's, Neither of those are particularly good kingdoms to rule. <laughs> <laughs> so more of the same? More of the same, 330. We're uh, just starting another step. How's it going, Mike? It's going good. All right. Enjoying it. For now. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get sick of us. Oh, come on now. It's Jules, better than talking to myself yeah, about on. on the back deck. What? The post-its? <laughs> yes. I have an idea for the SMA association. What took SMA. you to New Jersey? <laughs> hmm? Samantha, congrats again. Congrats, uh, Samantha. Uh, I ended up in New Jersey, uh, uh, New Jersey uh, because of my fiance. So she uh, is from New Jersey. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty strong pull to pull me away from Hawaii. Yeah, right. <laughs> And our chat is asking, how much of the ocean is like this by estimate? It's kind of hard to tell, right? Well, I guess, I mean, what does like this mean? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking at, right, that's true. Like sedimented Sedim seafloor? Right? Uh, a whole heck of a lot of it. Is that yeah. the end of the answer? I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, the places where there's exposed rock are mid-ocean ridges. So that's very young seafloor that hasn't had time to accumulate sediment. Places that stick up, like seamounts, which get uh, kind of scoured clean of sediment. Um, but sediment is coming down everywhere in the ocean. Um, even more near the continents because it's not just kind of biological productivity, but delivery of sediment from, from rivers and whatnot. Um, so I would hazard a guess that most of it is sediment, sedimented. Right. Adam, I have to leave for a shape shore to shore interactor real quick. Yeah. Is that, does that work? Yeah, sure. You're the boss. Boss. <laughs> I'm doing a a logo for the SMA Association. Oh, you're doing SMA logo. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Ship Moves Association. Uh, was that Paolo very politely telling you that you were going to be data logging? Uh -huh. Is that okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> very politely, to make very a subtly. Note in event log, but. Uh <laughs> yeah, I'm making a note now. Unfortunately, I'm logged in as Brian Kennedy, so. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, here we go. Very strange. <laughs> Yeah. How come Brian's just saying animal one? Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> biology one, biology two. <laughs> wow, we have um, a party going on here. Six people here with beer and barbecue watching you guys. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. That's a first. <laughs> We've had a lot of uh, offices tune in. We've had right. like EMTs on watch overnight tune in. We've had. Um, Six yeah, viewers is not probably a record for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have more than six viewers to total. Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. hey, that listen. was the joke, Samantha. <laughs> you guys should, uh, you guys should do a little uh, game every time we say 
<laughs> shrimp. Yeah. Take a drink. Yeah, take a drink. All the way, All down. The way down. All the way down. All the way down. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, that's a fish, actually. Uh, okay, fish. I got that. Fish. fish. Yep. Sighted. I don't know what kind of fish, but it was to the right of uh, Herc. Oh, so we didn't see it in uh, the video? Behind? No, no. Oh. Sorry. Disregard. I was just noticing. Bears and barbecue sounds really good right now. Sure does. Yeah. It does. I remember land. <laughs> Seems so long ago. Sure does. <laughs> what is that? Uh, barbecues. Could that be a shrimp? Can yep. we zoom on that thing? Life. Zoom on that thing, dude. Ooh, floaty thing. What are you? This really speaks to how little biology we're seeing. <laughs> What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Is it a batfish? Batfish. <gasps> bat Wait, fish. what? Batfish. <laughs> I think it actually bat fish. <clears throat> Very small. What did uh, Batman? Oh. oh, there it goes. Say to Robin before they got in the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Me Get too. in the Batmobile. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that's the no. joke. That's, no, that's the bit. You just ruined this highlight. You have a fish uh, up above Herc. A fish above Herc too? Yep. Ooh. Uh oh, it's a, a bamboo. Can you do a backflip? Oh yeah, that is a bigger fish. You all see that in Atlanta Camp too? Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah but just a juvenile one. Oh yeah, oh, that's really that's so cool. Cute. That's cool looking. Wow. This so what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> a heavy sigh. <laughs> <laughs> this one has eyes though. Uh, do we have a species idea on this other than batfish? Um, let me look into that. The ship has stopped by the way, so we've got... Okay. I think that big fish swam out of uh, out of frame. Mm. Very cool. This I don't think we've seen me a second. one of these in a while. The, uh, another watch saw one. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. But not nearly as cute as this one. I Agreed. like that there's a category called lizard fishes and <laughs> allies. <laughs> 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 allies of the lizard fish. about three centimeter batfish. If you're just <laughs> tuning in from like a barbecue and you see those green spots, those are scaling lasers. They're 10 centimeters apart. And they're used for measurement, yeah? Some of these fish look very And for funny. everyone who's just tuning in, we are currently exploring a geo and our team has up uploaded um, highlights from our previous dives, so check that out on nautiluslive.org. I almost spaced out there. I have a potential species um, that I will attempt to pronounce. Oh, yeah. Yep. Haliotopsis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spelled H-A-L-I-E-U-T-O-P-S-I-S. Oh, <laughs> Centimeters. How you tops us? Cool. Well, Raj, we'll move on. I'll show that Brian made a good ID. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, where are you going? He's like, I gotta shake this sediment off me. Carry it on. Carry, Carry on. on. Great eye, whoever spotted that. That was Adam. Uh, Never. Probably thought I'll it was I'll a rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, chat says they have a lot of games about us, but <laughs> they won't spoil it. <laughs> so there's a bingo card involved. Yeah. We actually do have bingo cards for anyone watching at home. We have them on our website in education resources. Yes. They're tailored more for classroom viewing, mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> can be repurposed <laughs> by anyone watching. <laughs> There's one for midwater bingo for when we're in the blue water on our ascent and descent, and then there's one for the sea floor. Um, but it's it's they're they're more generic, not necessarily tailored to this region of the uh, the Pacific. Some of the items are like you'll hear someone say bridge nav, and that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, can we get a zoom on that? That's also one. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Oh, what? Wow. Oh, come, Jelly. Nope. So the more barbecue that you have, the more entertaining those cards can get. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, you can just take it out of auto head. Chat, I think the deepest we've gone is 2420 meters, correct? On this? On this expedition so far? Uh, it's the ooh. last deep dive I remember. Yeah, that. I, I think we might have gone to 3000 at one point, but uh, oh. somewhere, somewhere in that range, yeah. Okay. Deepest we can go with Hercules is 4000 meters. Right. Adelant and Argus can go deeper than that, 6,000. So we coming up? You want to hold, hold? Okay, coming up. So, folks online, that uh, pretty much concludes our time on the seafloor for this right. dive, but we are going to be transiting the water column, and sometimes you see some pretty fascinating stuff on the way up. Right. My favorite is when we see some squid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope we see our Bam friends again. Vampire squid, be cool. Mm. Yeah, I think I think our team named our white tip friends the sharks. I think Shelly and Frank. <laughs> we had two white tips that have been. Yeah, that's us. been around the. I want to name the boobies, uh, Carlos. Carlos, all mm -hmm. of them. All of them. All of them, <laughs> and then all of the shrimp. It's Horace okay. from okay. Shark Tale. <laughs> Chat, you guys have been amazing. Thanks for um, tuning in and sticking with us. If you have any questions, send them in. Our team would be happy to answer them for you. Barbecue recipes. Barbecue recipes. <laughs> <laughs>
and the games. I just don't want to drive it back over me. Let's go. Yes, chat, our dive has now concluded. Hey, our viewers are wondering what's um, our favorite fast food place or restaurant. Hmm. I like Cane's, Raising Cane's. Oh, I haven't. I don't even know that. that. I really? Know. I don't There's one on um, BU campus. Oh. oh. Is this a recovery heading? I like likes? the Knack. There's two so of them on Cape Cod, so it's not really a national fast? chain. Oh, Do we need, does it need to be a chain? Yeah. So There's around. one in Wellfleet. And one in Hyannis. Oh wow, Pablo! I think you gotta go to port. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta go port. Kevin, gotta go to port. Viewers want to know your favorite yeah. restaurant or fast food yeah. place. So I grew up in California, so I have to say In-N-Out by default. Uh, do you actually yeah. believe it, or you do you have just to say it? Uh, <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> no, uh, so so oh, I, no, I I I grew up in Spain, so. My favorite fast food is, you know, any tapa that you get for free when you get a wine or a beer in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving to Spain. Okay. <laughs> I've looked up the knack and it looks very good. Yeah, it is good. I shouldn't have looked this up. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Pain. So if we're going to do local chains like the Neck, then it will be uh, in Seattle. It would be Dick's Drive-In. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's you and Sir Mix a lot. Oh, yeah, man. Mac Mac and and Macklemore. And Macklemore. Yeah. Who's a, uh, I don't know if he graduated from Evergreen State College, but he is a alumnus. Yeah. Two, the two most famous, him and Matt Groening. Huh. Oh, yeah, Matt Groening, right. Okay, I cannot look at good food anymore. <laughs> this was a mistake. Then we'll go with my all-time favorite, national chain McDonald's. McDonald's. Big McDonald's. Mac. Big Mac. Big McD. What about you, Annie? Oh, yeah, wow. Hmm. Well, American Samoa, we don't have that many options. Isn't the McDonald's like super uh, Yeah, we have McDonald's, there? we have KFC, Pizza Hut, Carl's Jr. I heard that McDonald's is the big hangout on yeah. Saturday night. But you know what? I'm, I'll go with you, Kevin. I, I got, I tasted In-N-Out first like time In -N -Out? last year. Uh -huh. Yeah, so In-N-Out. You have In-N-Out there? No, but oh. I'll go with In-N-Out. <laughs> 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 I was in Cali uh, last year, so. That would be something so. in out had a Right? You got to do the animal style fries. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, shout out to our friend Elliot, um, six years old, tuning in from Maine. What's hey, up, Elliot. Um, Elliot would Northeast. like to know what are our what is your favorite sea creatures? Mm. That's an awesome question. That um, is. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. What is my favorite? I really like cephalopods. Like I like squid, octopuses, um, 
They're all just really cool. I also like nudibranchs. Sea slugs. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're off the food thing now. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. We're not eating those things. <laughs> <laughs> we're on to favorite animal. Favorite sea creature. This uh, is from Elliot, six-year-old from Maine. I like horseshoe crabs. Oh. I think they're real cool. They're my least favorite. Ooh. They scare me. I like the Pompeii worms, I think. Oh, those are gorgeous. Pompeii worms. They live at the vents. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. In the med, right? Right, right, right. They're really cool. In the med? What? Yeah. At the vents? Yeah. Uh, Al Alvinelids? Alvin. The ones that live at the smokers. <laughs> but Pompeii worms aren't at... Aren't they Pompeii worms? Well, not at EPR vents. I've never seen Pompeii worms. Well, that Alvin Ellens, the ones okay. at the vents that have their, they have the front end at boiling water temperatures and the rear end at freezing water temperatures. Yeah, and they're it, cool. It, they look like they're talking to each other, <laughs> 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 carrying on a conversation. No, I do like no to break. Uh, if they go that way, that's mm -hmm. okay. I, I just don't want Elliot. What's your favorite? It will be our. Oh Whatever yeah, happens, Elliot. What is we'll your favorite to... sea creature? Might be lobster. <laughs> Maine. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like the Dumbo octopus. Ah, uh, okay, Very yeah. Grimpetuthus. Yep. Lettuce slugs are really cool. I have never seen a lettuce slug. I've never seen one, only in pictures. Oh. And a what? At the museum. A lettuce slug? Um, so they're oh. actually oh. able to incorporate um, chloroplasts into their own cells, and they can photosynthesize. <laughs> it's really awesome. I think it's called kleptoplasty. Wow. They really do look like lettuce. It keeps buzzing me here. Chat, we are 20, well, this is our second week at sea at about mm, 29 days. We're spending 29 days at sea for this expedition, for this cruise. Oh, and they also want to know, will we see any hydrothermal vents? I don't think so, right? No. Unfortunately, no. Nope. Not on this one. But tune in uh, next season. We'll be down American Samoa. Oh, right, right. Vailu, Vailuluu. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Vailuluu. Yeah. Did you, uh, one of the things that I'm hoping to look at next year in American Samoa, there was a seismic crisis in 20, last year. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it, the earthquakes were located just north of Ta'u. Yeah. And uh, I want to see the C4 there, see if there anything's happening. Yeah, no, you're right. So um, when that happened, um, yeah, I was teaching at school. We had like an entire evacuation. Mm -hmm. really? And then the, um, we were just talking, and then we so got word that it might have been from Wailulu. Okay. So we were worried. I was worried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, but they said it was off Ta'u, uh, not Wailulu. Mm -hmm. Um, when scientists went to check them out, um, yeah, so it'll be really interesting. I would like to hear what you guys will find. You know? Yeah, I've been in touch with the the scientists who from USGS, from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, who were down there. What's uh, the actual speed? Natalia Deleen, who I've known for a long time. We and don't know. Another fellow, which I can't quite remember his name, but... Uh, yeah, they went it's down to help blood. deploy yes, a bunch of seismometers mm -hmm. because these were detected really far away. Because right. there wasn't a good seismic oh. network in right. American Samoa. Yeah. Oh, okay. So why are these numbers off? Well, I think I think it's okay. It's for whatever reason, when we lateral, it comes up faster. Okay. I don't know why that phenomenon happens, but it does. 
interesting. So you have done work there before, yeah? No, I've never. No? no. Okay. Okay. What are you like, most excited to like find out or research? Uh, so I'm really excited to see if Vailu'u'u has changed at all. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, it's been visited a few times and, and over a period from like 2012 to 2019, there was a new dome that grew in the center of oh, it. Wow. There's a reorganization of the hydrothermal system. So we want to sort that out. And then I want to check out this area where there was the seismic crisis to see if there was any uh, seafloor change there. And, uh, and to, you know, share that experience with the people of American Samoa. That would be amazing. That would be really interesting to, to tune into and to read about. Oh, how far in advance does Nautilus plan its expeditions? Uh, at least a year, mm. sometimes more. That, and you know, that's you make a plan, and plans can change a little bit. But right. But the permitting process for many of the places that Nautilus goes, you n you need that much time in order to kind of work through the permitting. Wow. And then, when is our next planned dive? Is that good timing? When is our next planned dive? Later on today, or? I'm not sure okay. when our next one is. We're going to have to uh, drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Drive to the new location. Um, maybe do some mapping beforehand. So it, it's about, it's at least eight hours from now, but maybe twelve or more. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, team. Well, you know we've been out here for two weeks. What's been the highlight so far? What's been you guys' favorite part? Being out at sea, seeing no land for two weeks, spending time with each other, talking. I guess reaching the halfway point is yeah. a good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's seeing these parts of the seafloor that no one's ever seen before. It's right. been very exciting, and I don't know. I really liked our one watch where we saw all that funky stuff, like the slime star eating the crinoid and the. The jointed, the or jointed the, um, yeah. Mm. Uh, that was a really cool watch. Umbalula. Honestly, this has just been an amazing experience overall. It's hard to pick one highlight, but right. the people have been really amazing. It's been awesome to, to talk to everyone and learn about everyone's backgrounds, which are so vastly different. Everyone seems to have right. some crazy story about some place that they explored. Um, aside from that, I mean, waking up and seeing the ocean every day, can't beat that. <laughs> um, being like the first to see this part of the seafloor, you know, we pass over an area and we may never go through that area again. Right. Um, which is just like really neat. Thank you. We would love to hear from our front row. I'll, I guess I'll start. Uh, <laughs> I've, I always love being out here on Nautilus um, for the culture of teaching and learning. I always learn something new from everyone on my watch and everyone I get to talk to off watch. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I would agree that I really enjoyed the watch the other day with all the unusual finds. Still noodling on that crinoid crime scene situation. <laughs> 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 for better or for worse. I'm surprised I haven't had any nightmares yet. Okay, Robert. I'm going to pass. You don't have any highlights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No highlights. Robert, Go ahead, Doug. you say, I'm too busy right now. <laughs> Copy that. We're at 
1040. Uh, zero, zero. Yeah, I'm too deeply engrossed in what I'm doing currently. There uh -huh. you go. That's, <laughs> that's an acceptable <laughs> response. But Mike has something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being a fan of uh, all the sharks that we've been seeing, both deep, but also the uh, the oceanic white tips that we've been seeing up on the surface uh, around the boat has been pretty awesome to see. Let's go. Hey, Dave. Hearing Annie say, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> you know what? That's, I mean, that's just a great thing. It's like, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. Go science. <laughs> really, it's uh, it's fun stuff. Uh, I, I um, you know, my background is uh, television stations, and uh, television stations do news every day, and uh, uh, and it's boring. And and you know, even though news is, is often not boring, uh, you, you know, just kind of get into the same rut. Uh, here, it's uh, something different. I can use. Uh, my skills to help further science, and uh, that's fun. I get to learn a lot of stuff, work with a lot of really smart people, and uh, it's always uh, it's always a pleasure and a privilege to to be out uh, and uh, work with a great group of people like this. You. You got any good stories about the on-screen talent <laughs> <laughs> that you can share on? <laughs> Here's the one rule about television news uh, from behind the camera is that all the, the, the talent, if you will, um, all the folks on the air want one thing. They want to not look stupid on the air, okay? So all you gotta do is just make sure that all the tools work, give them all the tools to do what they need to do, and make sure everything works. Now, it doesn't always work, and things happen, and sometimes they end up looking stupid on the air, and they get really mad about that, and they take it out on you, <laughs> And so that, you know, just from a general standpoint, it's when people get frustrated uh, and, and they end up looking stupid on the air for whatever reason, uh, then they, you know, the, the good ones go, oh, well, I'll do better at that. The maybe not so new ones or the slightly insecure ones will say, that was your fault. Why do you make me look stupid on the air? And uh, so you just have to kind of navigate that. Uh, keep changing and hitting. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a people thing. Uh, right. Some people are really good at it, and other people are not as good at it. Uh, some people look uh, look great on the air uh, and are not nice uh, in real life. Some people are super are trouble with position? nice in real life uh, and uh, and also do good on the air. And so, you know, takes all kinds. I would guess Dude, weatherman we is the highest so risk out. for technical failure or there's, weather person. You yeah, know? there's all kinds of... Because they got the screen and they got to move it around and they yeah. draw on it. Yeah. All kinds of interesting gaffes that happen uh, in the weather. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go. So our two friends. My Pablo's checked out. Uh, I probably should say having the instrument work, but actually the most fun I've had so far <laughs> was Mike's uh, rope tying and knot glass that we had the other day. <laughs> do you remember any of them? I do. Well, and I also, uh, one of the field techs back at APL, uh, Jenny, is going to be quizzing me when ah. I get back. <laughs> and if I can't do a bullen when I get back, uh, I think she has the authority to fire me. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep, watching you. <laughs> yeah, uh, my, my highlight, uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I I am the moron here that Dave really wants to help not look stupid, but I do look stupid all the time. <laughs> Can't uh, can really punch a key here. And But, you know, which uh, on cue, my highlight here is that, you know, at a touch of a keyboard, uh, I can make our laser fire and get data in the seafloor. And this is a highlight for me because I do the same on Mars, and it takes about 24 hours to know whether <laughs> the key that you punched uh, really did the job, and you get some data back. So uh, be able to do, a, you know, operate a, an instrument that is like a mile, you know, below where we are, and getting that uh, feedback that hey, it's working, everything is going well. Uh, to me, it's really, really a new, uh, refreshing uh, way of doing science remotely. Oh, sorry. 
Okay, thank you, Pablo. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. yeah, well, for me, it's definitely, um, I agree with you, Jules. Uh, it's definitely been the people um, just talking. So many of us are from different backgrounds. Uh, back home, we have, like, I talk to a lot of Samoans, you know? <laughs> um, over here, I get a variety. <laughs> like, I get to people from different walks of life. And I like to compare everybody to, like, a book. Everybody's just f so full of knowledge um, that there's so much to to know or to ask in, in so little time. So that's definitely uh, been the highlight for me. And, yeah, it's been great being here. Chat, what's your highlight from our dives? Um, send them in. We would love to read about them. What about Paola? Paola, what's been the yes, highlight yes. for you? A highlight? Yeah. Like on the entire... Whole thing. Mm -hmm. Entire Whole thing. Thing. So far. Whole here, thing. Anywhere on the ship. Okay. Um, definitely, I agree with Jules. <laughs> like the, the people, I am very impressed how open everybody is to just learn from each other. Um, yes. I'm very impressed by that, and I'm very happy too. And it's a very encouraging learning environment. That's true. And let's see, highlights. I'm birthday thinking. cake? The birthday cake, I love that one. Ooh. The birthday cake, the frosting was really good. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> let's see. Those two for now. I'll, I'll need to keep thinking. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. How's the logo coming along? It's gonna come at it. Something's not right, but my skills don't translate that well here. So <laughs> no, Adam, you cannot look at it yet. <laughs> it's not finished. I'm not looking. I'm consulting. Oh, consulting. Okay, yeah. okay. Let me get these lines out of the way. And yeah, I, w I was thinking of doing like a circle. Oh, I like that. And then maybe one of them can be a waypoint and then like go. Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe, what, how, what do our waypoints look like? Are they little pluses? Maybe we could have pluses kind of around. Like going high like that? Okay, okay. And this A can be like a waypoint. Okay. The see through mind floating. Chat, are you talking about the mind sweeper? Oh, yeah, the radiolarian. Yeah, the radiolarian protest. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Uh, Elliot said, thank you so much. Um, we made his whole day. Aw, oh, thanks, chat. Much appreciated. We are currently ascending. We're at about 864 meters. Uh, stay tuned for when our next dive will be. If you are just tuning in, um, check out nautiluslive.org for our amazing highlights. Our team will be posting more highlights from our dives in the days to come. Also, um, on our website, or noaa.gov as well, this region has been nominated to become a National Marine Sanctuary. So I believe the last day for public comments is June 2nd, which I believe is this Friday. Um, so please submit your questions and comments before then. Um, I believe Noah has to answer or review each comment. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with us. You guys have been amazing. Ooh, what's going on there? Ooh. Squid? No? Nah? No, I think it's a... Uh it's like a floaty blankety thing. Something got <laughs> a little, little mushed up in our thrusters, I think. Uh, oh. oh. This is making e DNA. Uh, yeah, we're just enriching the uh, environment. Mm -hmm. with plenty of nutrients. Horus. Horus. Horus, really? what are you doing here? Man, a lot of shrimp. All the, horse, way up Mr. Horse. Horse. Okay. all the way up. Ooh. Oh, ooh. What? Ooh. And 
What is that? What is all this? Eel. An is eel? It? Yeah. Oh, wow. I need a post watch nap. <laughs> Let's see here. Mike, will you be on deck as well? Uh, I will be doing the post-dive checks uh, down on deck. I will not be uh, gotcha. running down there to try and recover at the same time. Yeah, OK, cool. <laughs> We're in the very capable hands of TJ. Woohoo! Go, TJ! <laughs> Shout out to all of our viewers tuning in from all over the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, Norway, Israel, Spain, Sweden, Portugal, Netherlands, France, Czech Republic, and Austria. Wow. You can order sea slugs. What? You can what? To keep in an aquarium. Yeah. This is a game changer. Sea hairs. Sea Leaf hairs. Algae. Uh, yeah. Chat they have says to ship them. That's. Yeah. Chat says, that, yeah, I think that was a glass eel. Makes sense. You can order lettuce <laughs> sucks. Hello, shout out to Not Tim's class. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi, Sam's class. <laughs> On Not Tim's class, we are currently ascending. Stay tuned for when our next dive will be. We have about 773 meters before we reach the surface and the Maldives. Shout out to the Maldives. Oh, well, chat says, what is the most shocking and or scariest encounter? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. This is my first cruise, so. I can't say you guys, I've had you, any you veterans, scary veterans? encounters. <laughs> you guys all seemed a little uh, wound up about the Picnagonid sea spider. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Sea spiders no, are creepy. Just, yeah. They're a little bit creepy. Yeah. I just I feel like we, we fight a lot of well I fight land spiders back home and they're huge. Uh, yeah. Oh. So sea spiders, man, really? Are they like what kind of spiders you got there? Cane uh, spiders? Yeah, they get thrown up this big. They're like a dinner plate size. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are they hairy? Yeah. They are hairy. Yeah. Uh, Gentle giants, though. Gentle. <laughs> Wait, chat. And they said they're also tasty grilled. Wait, what? what? No way. <laughs> no. Are you talking about the... What are? The, 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 the... Okay, I'm, I'm assuming Surely it's the sea spider. About no, maybe the what? glass people eel. Eat, people eat Because we when we were talking about the, the spiders, <laughs> that's when the comment came in. Yeah, people eat tarantulas. Uh, well, that, yeah, what? that's true. Grilled. Huh. All right. Well, spider roll is as close I'm, as <laughs> I'm going to get to that. <laughs> close enough. What were we asked about? What's scariest? the most uh, shocking or scariest encounter? Huh. At sea or... Or both. Let's just say at sea. At sea. Hmm. I've had some encounters where we've we've the ship has come across uh, you know, some refugees trying to Oh wow. Get across the ocean in in, in, in very unseaworthy craft. Right. Oh, no. That's pretty scary. Uh, what did you do? Picked them up. 
brought them with us. Right. Wow. Wow. Definitely scary when there's any sort of kind of medical event on a ship. Right. And you're far from shore. COVID made for some high stress during a lot of cruises, yeah. you know? Mine was when we were we were launching the Jason and uh, Medea and oh. off of the Atlantis, and there's very little overhead above Medea on the side boom, and they went to raise it up with the winch, and the bosun was standing next to the winch control and keyed his microphone, and that made the winch control stop running. Well, he was keying the microphone, and the winch operator gave it more stick uh, to pull up oh on wow. it. And then the bosun let go of the microphone switch, and two suddenly blocked. the yeah the the deer shot up and two blocked into the Ooh. into the uh, the uh, what do you call it? Ooh. And uh, broke the wire. Ooh. And it arced and sparked, oh. and it fell down, hit the deck, and went over the side with oh, the. Oh wow. Medea or Jason? Medea. Holy cow. Went over the side, and it was, of course, attached to Jason. It was still sitting on deck. <laughs> Whoa. It is true that... That's a bad one. Anytime you're putting anything over the side, that's probably the most dangerous part of any, yeah. any yeah. ship so operation. So it came whipping across the deck, Jason, a big <laughs> many thousand pound vehicle, and it just so happened the tether was... was over one of the uh, cleats on, oh, the, no. on the side rail, and it stripped the jacket off the tether till it jammed up in the cleat. Ooh. And that stopped the whole thing from continuing <laughs> on. And so Medea was hanging by what was left of the tether. And, and then, yeah. Yikes. But the vehicles were brought back on board. They, that was very lucky. Otherwise, the whole mess could have taken out all the people on the deck and gone yeah. overboard. And, yeah. Yikes. That's interesting about the radio. Yeah. Being the issue. Okay, so it looks like the ship is holding. We have a heading. Okay, Anna, what, what do we need to change? Ooh. We have two waypoints. Oh, that's oh, looking I good, see. Paula. The, oh, I love that. That's a waypoint. <laughs> Like I on the GPS? That, I think, <laughs> yeah, but, um, <laughs> go for it. No, no, I'm not going to draw on it, but a lot of times the, that waypoint is, uh, like that with like a, like a circle. Yeah, yeah. maybe then. Chat, please don't try and get oh, a I free like Nautilus that. trip. Don't get in a junky canoe. Don't do that. We're all about safety. I love it. Do you have favorite sharks? I'm gonna make. Oh, we'll try and answer that in a little bit. <laughs> we have oh, seen a, um, a lot of white <laughs> tips. You have a lot of white tips that hang Wait, around the boat. They're chasing the squid. So yeah, it's been great seeing them. No, I need it down here. Ooh. I can't. I won't. Throw. What? That was oh, neat. that's pretty. Can you hold down that bottom part? Now we can make t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we should make a t-shirt. Oh, oh wow. that's it's really beautiful. Cool. That's really cool. Samantha, you're going to want to see this. What am, what am I seeing? Is it on a screen? <coughs> uh, no, it's not on the screen. No, it's back here. Okay. It's coming for you. That should be on a shirt. I'm <laughs> sure. Going to the, to the wall. Are you going all the way over to the wall? Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Yeah, that's gotta go on the wall. In honor of Samantha's <laughs> effort. Who, who made this? Wow, Paula. 
graphic designer. <laughs> I need a photo of that one. The Ship Move Association uh, a, thanks you. Small. For your service. Small. Me too. We are ascending. Uh, well, oh, welcome. We are ascending. We're, um, we're, we're at around. about 553 meters till we reach the surface. We're good. Stay tuned yeah, this is for a lot better. more dive like updates. This. Good idea. Okay. We have been getting this question a lot. So people, all the chat is wondering what happened to Argus. Why are we using Atalanto? Uh, Argus is fine. Argus is fine, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Argus is. Argus is Argus fine. Argus is aboard. <laughs> <laughs> They're currently living underneath the banana crane. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I was wondering where Argus was. Oh, okay. It's, it's here. It's safe and sound. The, we're using Atalanta because it takes up less space right. under the A-frame, which is maybe arguably a bit safer for the launch and recoveries. And it's been a bit rough on this cruise, so it's probably a good thing. Awesome, thank you. Chat Argus is totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say if Argus was not fine at all. <laughs> no. Argus is just sleeping. <laughs> Argus is sleeping. Hibernating. No, you really can see Argus on the back deck, so. Yeah. Argus back there. Or something the Argus shaped. I don't know. If it's, <laughs> <at the ready. laughs> it's just a cardboard cutout. We need to. We could hook it up and be using it. And we also have a little Herc on board, too. We do. Yeah. yeah. Smaller RV. Yeah. Little Herc is totally fine too. Totally Little fine. Herc is totally fine. Everything's too. fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Little Herc got it, got shaken down on the shakedown. Yep. Argus got tested, but we didn't actually deploy it. Ah, it okay. Down. Deck nav. We're at a uh, four six zero meters. <laughs> it would be easier if we were using Argus since I'm so used to sand Argus. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Everything says Argus. Yeah. Has the Nautilus ever seen, not pirates, but unknown <laughs> ship <laughs> around <laughs> the seas? Uh, that's a good question. We don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah? I mean, we see ships that we don't know what they are. We could probably figure it out if necessary. Okay. We did last season. We saw a uh, presumed Chinese fishing vessel cruising across the uh, area. Uh, they're okay to pass through as long as they don't have any equipment down. Mm. As they're not actively fishing, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. But uh, when they saw us, they turned 90 degrees and headed the other, headed out of the uh, of the uh, sanctuary area mm. or the preserve area, mm. uh, and. We zoomed in on them with uh, one of the cameras, got a number off the back of the boat, reported them to the Coast Guard. Interesting. Oh. Who just noted it and didn't do anything about it since they were headed out of the area. So. Right. But we do see them occasionally. Oh, okay. We saw someone who was, was rowing across the Pacific. What? Once. Really? Yeah. What? Rowing? <laughs> yeah. Where? <laughs> it wasn't far from California coast. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they were in the Pacific. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. Yeah, North Pacific Ocean. <laughs> that part. Yeah. And yeah, we had a solo sailor just reach American Samoa. I mentioned this before. Um, I think last week, just reached American Samoa. His goal is to sail solo across the Pacific. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where is he from? Um, I didn't. I need to check that. Out. I need to read the article. Back home. Must be quite a voyage. Yep. Paolo, what kind of samples do we have? We have, we have an urchin. Okay, cool, cool. We have two chalky carbonate rocks, a scoop of the chalky carbonate rock, mm -hmm. <laughs> and a sponge on a slurp. Oh, cool. Okay, that's not much. It's something cool. How was the blue-green coral? Was that it was uh, identified as a blue-green plexorid, and it looked blue and green. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was cool. Yeah. When we put it in ethanol, it was really interesting because the blue started dyeing the ethanol. Oh, so. oh. wow. Yeah, that happens a lot. And it was just a gray plexorid? Mm. It did, did the blue lose a little bit of its color? It was still there. It was it's still just, there, just huh. it covered the ethanol. Yeah, we should check on it today. We created two samples of it. One was just drying and the other one at all, just in case the blue completely disappeared. Yes. <laughs> one of them. Yeah, they often look a lot different up here than they do in situ. Holothurians especially. If there's any color, it, it tends to just be leached into the ethanol. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, so that solo sailor, he's an Aust he's Australian. Ooh, he's attempting to out. become the youngest <laughs> person to row across the Pacific. Tom Robinson um, wow. from Brisbane. Hmm. So Jules, how, mm -hmm. uh, what do you feel are key differences between identifying on the spot versus identifying on previous footage from your research experience? Identifying uh, bio? bio. So so like, like the videos I was annotating? Or yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's different in that I can't choose what 